But we begin this new time with some breaking news out of Massachusetts. That's where a convicted child rapist who was set to be released from prison has been arrested on new charges stemming from his time behind bars back in court within the last 30 minutes. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joining us in studio with the details. That's right, Patrick. It was 11.23 a.m. Wayne Chapman was brought into a Massachusetts courtroom pleading not guilty to new charges. Officials with the Massachusetts Department of Corrections say these new charges are from incidents that happened Sunday and Monday at the prison in Shirley. A spokesperson said it was for indecent exposure, lewd, wanton, and lascivious acts, and open and gross lewdness and lascivious behavior. Chapman has been in prison for 41 years after being convicted in 1977 of raping two boys. He completed his original sentence in 2004. He's remained civilly committed, though. Days ago, a Massachusetts Supreme Court judge ruled in favor of releasing Chapman after they determined he was no longer sexually dangerous. And an attorney for Chapman told us yesterday that Chapman was no longer a threat. But now, these new charges. He is being held without bail. We haven't immediately heard back yet from his attorney today for a response to these new charges. Chapman was also charged in the early 70s in Rhode Island. Court documents show he pleaded no contest before being extradited to Massachusetts, and we reached out to the Attorney General's office in Rhode Island. They say they are going through his case file now. An attorney representing several of Chapman's victims say that they will be holding a news conference later today to address these new charges. Chapman's charges will be heard again on June 27th. However, his attorney told the judge that Chapman will likely not be in court for that appearance because of his medical issues. Of course, this is breaking this noon time. We'll continue to track this case throughout the day and bring you live updates tonight on Eyewitness News. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.